Melody Festival in 2017. The opening reception is just about to finish, but with us is a gentleman with whom we spoke at this particular point last year. Boris René is back. Yeah. Boris, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Excellent, it's good to see you again. Good to see you too. It's well, been a while. Like one year goes so fast. So Indeed. So what has happened over this year with you? Uh, I've been like around gigging, just, you know, just getting my experience, you know, from different stages and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I've been around a lot. Initially from Congo, and that's yeah. probably where you have the music in your blood, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I've been, I've been like dancing since I was a small kid, you know, just just imitating like Michael Jackson and yeah just singing and stuff like that so right now when I got older I, I just felt like I would try to give music a shot so so, so but, but were you were you, you were born in Congo and then yeah. you came here when uh, I was two years old yeah two years. you you, you uh, your parents left here or exactly my I came here with my mom and my three older brothers okay so uh, yeah since so since then I'm like I'm raised here you excellent know. you're also a footballer we touched yeah. on it last year you still playing no, I'm not playing. I, I, I stopped playing actually last year in August. Okay. So uh, after that, I quit football after Melody Festival in last year. So I felt like, you know, the energy wasn't enough for, for, both, uh, for both things. So um, after that, I just said like, all right, let's give music a try and see what happens. But well, last year you were so happy with getting to the final with yeah. Put Your Love On Me. And this, this year you have another song in the running. Tell us about this song. This song is... Uh, it's almost the same as last year, you know, it's a happy song, you know, an up-tempo song and, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully I'll get people to dance to it. And it's also a love song as last year, but not as, not as serious as, as uh, Put Your Love On Me, you know, it's more, it has more, uh, how could I say, it's more happier in, in, in a sense of way. I don't know exactly how to, yeah. how to, how to explain, but like in the production, you know, you, you can feel that it's more happier. So it's called the name of the song. Excuse me. The name of the song is uh, her kiss. Her kiss. Her kiss. Exactly. So who is who are you going giving or, or who are you taking the kiss from? Ooh, who is that her? My future <laughs> love. I don't know who it is yet, but my future love. Oh. You know, th this song is more about you know when when you go out or you see someone that like you you really uh, you really think is beautiful. You know, it's more of a fun song. You'd be like. I would love to give her a kiss. So um, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens if I excellent, find that one. Excellent! Wow, that's that's cool. And and the thing is, you can't see you blush. That's the whole thing. <laughs> exactly. You can't see it. So for me, it's it's cool. You know, and I, I I can blush or anything. You know. So if I get this or something, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, excellent. So good. You can see, but I blush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing. That's the uh, best thing. Let's talk about the creation of this song. How, yeah. how uh, was was the song created? When did it, when did it start? Ooh, the song. And it was it was actually my my producers. The same as last year, they wrote the song, and it was like very close to uh, to the press conference. So we had like a little time to to write the song. So uh, they did an an amazing job with the production and writing the song. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't write the song together with them because I didn't have time. Uh, at the time, I was out touring, you know, doing Motown, another show. Uh -huh. So they they wrote the song and yeah, they did they did everything with the song. And I and I came back and I heard the song and I was like, this song I love it. And you know, since since we know each other very well, they know what kind of music I, I would like to sing and um, how I would like to sing also. So I, I was very happy and satisfied when I heard the song. When we walked into the town hall uh, just a couple of hours yeah, ago, yeah. you mentioned to me that you had actually two songs uh, to choose from. Yeah, we, we had a couple of uh, like choices, you know, that we were we we have written some other songs that we were like, okay, do we like to go with this one or with this one, you know? So we had uh, some some choices, but everything fell on this one, and I'm very happy and satisfied about it. So what happens to the other song? You're gonna keep that for some other other time, or? Yeah, perhaps, perhaps, you know. You know, there's a time for everything, so perhaps I can release those other songs like later on. So uh, we'll see what happens. You, you are singing very energetic songs, yeah. energetic music. Yeah. Uh, would you also be a ballad singer? Would you want to do that too? Of course, later on it will come some. I have some other materials that are like more uh, mid tempo or more slower tempo, so uh, that will come eventually also. Excellent. You mentioned Motown, you're touring, you're touring the country of Sweden with the Motown. Uh, exactly. Group. Exactly. Uh, so, what type of songs are you singing there? Oh, I'm singing uh, Stevie Wonder. Um, I'm singing. Oh, let me think. 
It's a song called Flip Flop. If I don't know if you, if you know if you know that song, perhaps. Um, it's a lot of songs, you know, just from the Motown era. So uh, it's a fun show, really fun show. Excellent. Boris, thank you so much for chatting. We'll thank meet you. at the rehearsal and yeah. then we'll get an update from you. Of course, of All course. The best of luck. Thank Thanks you so very much. much. Nice to see you again.